everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button right there. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. All right, I'm done babysitting my nephew, and now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go junking, garage selling. I should go put stuff in my booth, but you know, it's Friday and I want to go junk it. So my kid decided she's going to stay there and help uh, my niece with her garage sale. She's having a garage sale today. And she's going to help her tomorrow too. So that'll be nice. You can just spend some time with them. I'm going to see if I can find some garage sales sort of north of where I live first because I think if I go straight across oh my god scooter boy I get that they're fuel efficient all that BS but dude drive the speed limit oh nice garage sale go around the block and see what they got Door prize. Screw with your door hanging open. Gonna get whacked. It's on garage sale over here. I'm like super judgy on garage sales now. <laughs> there were a couple in in the area where they live. They live with like duplexes and townhomes, and I'm like two new, two new families. I don't want. I don't want to be there with the young, young, young because it's a lot of baby stuff and a lot of you gotta be a little choosy. I have like seven bucks. Of course I'm gonna be choosy. Um, it said down this way. Let's go down this way. I can turn the air on a little bit here. Oh, I see signs. Oh, is this it right here in the end? park fantastic okay and they park directly in front of their own house awesome blocking the fact that they're having a sale Like seven dollars. Let's see what they got. Well, super judgy. I'm super judgy. That was a sh sale. <laughs> like I walked up there and their prices were way too high on everything. Like way too high on everything. And they had a tiny little chest freezer. Like. And I know, I'm not looking at it, except I noticed the giant sign said $30, the bottom drawer doesn't work. So then the top of the tiny freezer is less than the size of like a standard refrigerator and you want $30 for it. I've seen ones that worked on the side of the road for free. But I was like, okay. And then she was talking to her friend and complaining loudly because somebody asked her to take less for something. She goes, I'm tired of all these people that go to garage sales and think they're going to get nice things. They just told me everything here is crap, so I'll be on my way. You're telling me none of your stuff that you have out here is nice. It's probably all broken. Um, I mean, the freezer's broken. I see that. But what you just said out loud with people shopping was that you didn't put anything good out here for your garage sale. Hmm. Thinking they're going to get nice things. Oh, okay. 
You're right, I don't need nice things. I don't need your things. Yep, I left. I just turned around and walked out. I don't need to give you money. I have to find another one. Y'all, yeah. so I followed one garage sale sign. I'm in the country. I turned on the road. I'm now like 10 miles down the road. And guess what I found? No other sale signs and no sale. <sighs> Just saw a sign back there. It says there's a sign up here. And on our way there this morning, Victoria and I saw this sign. It's off to the right up here. So I'm going to turn down there and see if I can find one. This is just uh, so frustrating. I'm like, okay, you had like four signs leading up to your sign. It's hard for me to believe that you didn't take down all your signs. My guess is you didn't put one at the end of the road I needed to turn on because they had an address on the one at the end of the road. I didn't stop and read the address. I was getting tailgated. I'm going to be run over by a semi. I gotta slow down to read your address. Put one at the end of your road. I don't, I'm not gonna log your address into a GPS. I get so frustrated with garage sales. I want to give you my money. I'm trying really hard to give you my money. Make it easy on me. All right, I see a sign, we're gonna turn. something. I'm not happy about it. I think I'm going to have to go home. <laughs> because the woman's standing right there and watching me like a hawk, right? It's fine. Some people just, they're really weird about that. Like, they think everybody's stealing from them, whatever. I brought my item up and it has a tag that says two dollars on it and immediately she goes oh no no I know someone has switched my tags I said well I didn't switch your tags and she goes well I know I had five dollars on that I said well it says two dollars so, do you want me to, I mean, is that what you want on it is five now? Well, I guess, I mean, it's, you didn't do it, right? No, I didn't do it. I said, you've been standing there watching me the whole time. I just picked up the box and handed it to you. Then I guess, you know, I guess it's just get rid of stuff. Let's just, I guess so. Almost set it down and said, never mind. Almost. I probably should have because now I'm so upset. Now I'm upset. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm a little ticked off, actually. Not upset. I'm pissed. This woman. And then she had these, like, pink salt pepper shakers, which looked like they would have been depression glass she had a couple pieces of depression glass on another table but the tops were plastic and warm like bad like the fake chrome was coming off very badly around like it had been scrubbed off and I said well how much did you want for the salt and pepper shakers I'm thinking again like two bucks um six dollars just get this box then and that's when she had her little fit about I know I put five dollars on that well it doesn't say five dollars and you watched me pick it up and set it down I did not touch it 
So I, and she's like, I've had that happen to me in stores where people will switch the tags. I'm like, okay. And I mean, I guess I have to sell it to you. You don't have to sell it to me. If you want $5 for it. No, you didn't do it. You didn't make it. I'm like, no, I didn't. Gross, lady. Gross. You just watched me like I was stealing from you to begin with. Like from the second I stepped out of my car, you were glaring at me. And you didn't take your eyes off me. The whole time I was there, you know damn well I didn't switch your tags. Freaking this now. And all of her stuff was like kind of gross and she's a heavy smoker so it like the clothes and soft lines couldn't buy anything as she had these older books and I thought about it but then I thought all I'm smelling is cigarette smoke like overwhelming cigarette smoke there's no way I could even I'm not even gonna try and get the smell out of books and stuff I can wash glassware but I can't wash books, you know, I mean, you can put it in, yeah, I know, active charcoal, you know, active charcoal takes um, about a year and a half to actually get all the smell out, done that, <laughs> had an old jewelry box that somebody said, take the drawers out, put it in active charcoal in a Ziploc bag, did that, left them in there for over a year, still stank like an old lady died in it. Okay, so I'm like, okay, that doesn't work. And then somebody said cat litter. That doesn't work either. And then somebody said put news, crumpled newspaper in between the pages of a book and it will take the smell out. The smell will permeate the newspaper, but you didn't actually get rid of the smell. Just help pass it on. And it doesn't get rid of the smell. I'm sorry. I don't believe any of those hacks. They don't work. They don't work and don't blow smoke up my butt. That ain't gonna work. I thought, okay, active charcoal. So I spent a fortune on Amazon for active charcoal. Stuck these drawers in this ginormous Ziploc bag, right? You gotta pay for the big bag. It didn't work. That heavy, heavy perfume smell was still there a year later. Did not work. Oh yes, it works. Don't tell me it works. I'm telling you it didn't work. Right? And the, the woman's like, I told me about it. She goes, it works. I said, it's been in the bag for a year and it still stinks. It doesn't work. It works. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go home because I got stuff I gotta take care of and I feel like today is just not going to be my day and if I'm gonna be, keep running into people like that I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it I'm gonna pop off and say something I'll regret later and have to repent for Dear Lord, I'm sorry I called her the stupidest damn person on the face of the earth. I know there are several other stupider people. However, at the moment, she was being stupid. I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Somebody switch the tags. Okay, well, you just saw me pick up the box and then I put it on the table in front of you, so it wasn't me. I'm not accusing you. Yeah, you are. Yeah, I know I put five dollars on that. I no, didn't. You're just hoping I feel bad and want to just give you five, right? That's what you're hoping for. You're hoping for that meek little girl who's gonna go, oh, I can give you five. Oh, but not me. I can give you five. Cutting into my profit margin, lady. Plus, it's Mark II, and I didn't switch the tags, and you know it. 
That's just a that's a terrible sales ploy. I've seen that happen at other sales too, where they're like, "Oh, I really should have put this much on it." And I've seen these timid little girls go, "I I can give you that. I can give you six for it." It's like, why? She marked it. Give her the money. She marked it. for a project. We'll try it out. Might as well show you what I got. It's a box of Blue Willow coffee mugs. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set of six. She had two dollars for the set on them. But she wanted five! Which... I might have given her five if they were marked five because I can get about 25 for the set. So, I mean, you're not going to make a huge profit anyway, but it's the principle of it for me, you know, when they're like jerks about it. Like if she hadn't had like this hissy fit, like I did something wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. You have blue painter's tape stuck to everything. I'm not changing your tags, but anyway, this particular type of coffee mug um, with the D handle was made probably between the 50s and the 80s. They did make this particular style for a while. Um, it's the it's the handle that kind of changes on them from time to time. So some of them will have like more of a pronounced flat top and then down. Uh, but this is definitely the D shape handle on it. And it's got a little blue willow thing inside of it. Probably from the crazing on it, I would say 60s, 70s is when this one was manufactured. I would highly doubt this would be the 50s ones. Um, based on the other stuff she had there. A lot of 70s stuff. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of 70s. Um, you could tell that she was collecting some of the older pieces, like some of the um, Depression era glass, but that was reproduced in some of that pink stuff was reproduced in the 80s, I think. So I'm not even sure if the stuff that she had was like reproduction. This could very well be the 80s, but that's a lot of crazing. Blue flow. I mean, it's transfer wear. I mean, this makes me suspicious that it's a reproduction. The transfer on the handle. And uh, they, it was dodgy. Let's put it that way. Like I was not convinced of the quality of the piece. So the two dollars I was willing to try, I would have hesitated at five. I would have. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go in and see if I can make a project. As much as I'd like to work on a project, I know that it is, in fact, uh, only a week away from pick a fence skull. So I need to get in here and grab my fall stuff. I can't get sidetracked. I want to do something fun, and I can't do it. Margo and I did something fun, though, didn't we? She's sitting down here. Um, I went out on the four wheeler and let her chase me. We were up to about 20 miles an hour. <laughs> she was keeping up. Where are you tired now? And I'm going to grab my fall stuff. I've got an empty bag here. These 31 bags are amazing for this because they got the frame on them. These ones. I love these. Carrying stuff up and down the stairs especially. Let me grab my fall crap. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more junkin' videos.